Are you looking for a Windows Package Manager? Well, I have one for you today. It's called Chocolatey. I'm Kevin Stevenson with PhaseLogix. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for a project, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. Let's get started. All right, here it is, Chocolatey. You can go to chocolatey.org to look up this package manager, and it is awesome. I use it for my services. Uh, it's great for installing stuff. You can go over here to install and walk you through the steps of installing Chocolatey. It's pretty straightforward. And your question would be like, oh, well, what can Chocolatey do for me? Basically, if you need to install any kind of software on your PC, Chocolatey is there for you and for updating. So you might say, well, what can I install? Well, that's a good question. There is a, oh, before we get that far, let's talk about the versions. There's an open source, a pro version, and a Chocolatey for business. Now, it is free and there are paid for versions. So just take a look at this and see which category you fit into. I use the free stuff for at home and everything. It's great. And then you want to know about packages. Well, that's great. Look at all these packages. 7-Zip, one of my favorites. Firefox, Notepad++, Git, uh, Visual Studio, C++, WinRAR, it has a lot of packages. Just scroll through these and take a look. Node, we'll just take it for example, maybe you want uh, VS Code. And you search for that and there it is, VS Code. Or maybe you want to get the new Edge. there it is right here now the beautiful thing is is once you have chocolatey installed it's just choco install and whatever the package is if you're familiar with apt and yum on the linux distribution side it's essentially the same thing but for windows and this is awesome it means you can install stuff from the command line and get it up and running and deploy it out for stuff we use it in, in conjunction with our uh, managed IT services stuff so we can we can get the same packages installed on all of our clients as necessary. Maybe you're looking for, who knows? Anyway, so let me just show you real quick. Chaco. So on this machine, I have chocolatey 0.10.15 and you open up PowerShell and once your chocolatey is installed Chaco is what you do. Now commands let's go over here and look and see about the learning. Installing chocolatey we already I'm not going to go over that in this one it's pretty straightforward but let's go to the getting started. So they have a whole course set up here for you to go through and do this stuff. So I recommend if you want to get into Chuckly, this is how it goes. So from an installation standpoint, it's just Chaco install and then whatever the package name is. Now if we go back here to the community, oops, and get back to the community packages here, you will notice that on all these it tells you exactly how to install it. So let's pick one real quick. Let's just go and install VLC. And this is a wonderful thing about a chocolatey is it knows, say, hey, you didn't do this in an elevated privilege command shell or PowerShell. And then it asks you, do you want to continue? So you can say no. And then I'll go back and I can 
PowerShell. On his admin. And do that again. And this is how easy it is to install. You get a, a few commands, and we're just going to say whatever the default is. And now it is installing VLC. I will probably fast forward through this. Oh, there we go. VLC is now installed. So we go up here, and there it is VLC recently added. Now, maybe you'll want to do something else. So let's just see about going to the, the documentation. Chocolatey command uninstall. Choco uninstall. So, right here, Chaco uninstall. Let's go back and let's just uninstall that, what we just did. Dash Y. And then, if you see right here, they're doing some of these switches that show you in action, little screen cap, remove dependencies. See what happens here. Yes, that's because it's not silent uninstaller. Boom, there you go. All right, so that's done that. Let's go back to commands. Website's being a little bit slow here. So search list. So you, if, you, if you don't know, you can go to the website and you can look these up. But you can look at these guys here. So, for example, get. So let's do a Chaco search. Um, see what it comes up with. Whoa! But you can see right there, Visual Studio. Maybe you uh, want to narrow it down a little bit more. So we can do. VS Code. And if you notice, there's a whole bunch of these different versions uh, that you can look at. So, Visual Studio Code. What I, I prefer to do is just go to the website and know what packages I want. And you can write a shell or a PowerShell script to do these things. Um, so, you can also look at info. So, let's just go and we'll choose Chaco search Firefox right so now let's just do Chaco info and look at all these things here gives you the title of the package when it's approved all this information here features, how to install it, and all this good stuff. Now, that's just how to do it. Again, we'll go look at the install. It's Chaco install. We already did one package. But what you're going to basically what you're going to do is you're going to do installs, uninstalls, and upgrades. So Chaco upgrade. So let's just do that. Maybe you just want to upgrade all. Here we go. It's going to upgrade all the stuff that I have installed in here. And now you'll see that I have .NET and some of these other, the FFmpeg, and a few things that I have installed here, Python. And we're just going to say A to run it all. 
it's going to update the version of Python that I have installed on here. While that's doing that, let's just talk a little bit about Chocolatey itself. Why Chocolatey? Well, if you're a systems admin you're, and you've been dealing with Linux, you'll know that package managers are the way to get updates and everything. And if you're managing a lot of pieces, a lot of servers, you want to have a an easy way to just bounce in there and get those installed or updated and things like that. That's why I like Chocolatey. And you can do, if, you, if as soon as you do a remote Power, PowerShell session, you can do a lot of your administration without even logging into the PC and it'll make things simpler. Time saving. So I recommend Chocolatey. And if you're wondering about other ideas, other package managers, Microsoft themselves are have produced their own package manager. It is in beta right now, WinGit. It's basically supposed to be similar to this. Um, there's rumor is, is that Chocolatey and then maybe working together and maybe get some integration. So that would be awesome. Um, so here we go. Uh, all right. Thank you for joining me. This has been Chocolatey and a short overview of what Chocolatey is and how it works. It's great. I started using it a little while ago and, and it's really easy to get software installed and updated on your PCs that's out on your Windows PCs outside of the regular Windows update. So if you're looking for a way to do that, check out Chocolatey. I'm Kevin Stevenson. Thanks for joining me.